Tokusatsu take special filming is a Japanese term for live action film or television drama that makes heavy use of special effects. Tokusatsu entertainment often deals with science fiction, fantasy or horror, but films and television shows in other genres can sometimes count as tokusatsu as well. The most popular types of tokusatsu include kaiju monster films like the Godzilla and Gamera film series, superhero TV serials such as the Kamen Rider and Metal Hero series, and mecha dramas like Giant Robo. Some tokusatsu television programs combine several of these subgenres, for example the Ultraman and Super Sentai series. Tokusatsu is one of the most popular forms of Japanese entertainment, but despite the popularity of films and television programs based on tokusatsu properties such as Godzilla or Super Sentai, most tokusatsu films and television programs are not widely known outside Asia. History Tokusatsu has origins in early Japanese theater, specifically in kabuki with its action and fight scenes and in bunraku, which utilized some of the earliest forms of special effects, specifically puppetry. Modern tokusatsu, however, did not begin to take shape until the early 1950s, with the conceptual and creative birth of Godzilla, one of the most famous monsters kaiju of all time. The special effects artist Eiji Tsuburaya and the director Ishiro Honda became the driving forces behind 1954's Godzilla. Tsuburaya, inspired by the American film King Kong, formulated many of the techniques that would become staples of the genre, such as so-called suitmation, the use of a human actor in a costume to play a giant monster, combined with the use of miniatures and scaled-down city sets. Godzilla forever changed the landscape of Japanese science fiction, fantasy, and cinema by creating a uniquely Japanese vision in a genre typically dominated by American cinema. In 1954, Godzilla kickstarted the kaiju genre in Japan called the Monster Boom which remained extremely popular for several decades, with characters such as the aforementioned Godzilla, Gamera and King Ghidorah leading the market. However, in 1957 Shintoho produced the first film serial featuring the superhero character Super Giant, signaling a shift in popularity that favored masked heroes over giant monsters called the Henshin Boom, started by Kamen Rider. Along with the anime Astro Boy, the Super Giant serials had a profound effect on the world of tokusatsu. The following year, Moonlight Mask premiered, the first of numerous televised superhero dramas that would make up one of the most popular tokusatsu subgenres. Created by Kohan Kawachi, he followed up its success with the tokusatsu superhero shows Seven Color Mask and Messenger of Allah both starring a young Sonny Chiba. These original productions preceded the first color television tokusatsu series, Ambassador Magma and Ultraman, which heralded the Kyodai hero genre, wherein a regular-sized protagonist grows to larger proportions to fight equally large monsters. Popular tokusatsu superhero shows in the 1970s included Kamen Rider 1971, Warrior of Love Rainbowman 1972, Super Sentai 1975, and Spider-Man 1978. Topic: <laughs> Techniques Topic. Suitmation technology 
Sutmation, su sumation sit sumation in Japanese identifies the process in tokusatsu movies and television programs used to portray a monster using suit acting. The exact origin of the term remains unknown. At the least, it was used to promote the Godzilla suit from the return of Godzilla. Topic. Franchises and productions The many productions of tokusatsu series have general themes common throughout different groups. Topic. Kaiju Kaiju, Guai Shou Kaiju, literally, mysterious beast. Productions primarily feature monsters, or giant monsters, Da Guai Shou Daikija. Such series include Ultra Q, the Godzilla film series, the Gamera series, the Daimajin series, and films such as Frankenstein Conquers the World, War of the Gargantuas, and The X from Outer Space, Yujo Da Guai Shou Jirara Uchu Daikija Jirara. Topic. Kaijin Kaijin, Guai Ren literally, mysterious person. Productions primarily feature supervillains as their central character. This includes films such as The Secret of the Telegian, The Human Vapor, The H Man, Half Human, and Tamai Ninjin. Topic. Popular franchises Since about 1960, several long-running television series have combined various other themes. Subaraya Productions has had the Ultra series starting with Ultra Q and Ultraman in 1966. P Productions began their foray into tokusatsu in 1966 with the series Ambassador Magma. They also had involvement in the Lion Maru series which concluded in November 2006. Toei Company has several series that fall under their Toei Superheroes category of programming, starting in 1961 with the single series, Moonlight Mask. Then, they produced several other long-running series, starting with Shitaro Ishinomori's Kamen Rider series in 1971, the Super Sentai series in 1975, the Metal Hero series in 1982, and the Toei Fushigi comedy series in 1981. Toei also produced several other television series based on Ishinomori's works, including Android Kakator and Kakator 01, Robot Detective, Inazuman and Inazuman Flash, and Kaiketsu Zubat. Toei was also involved in the Spider-Man television series, which influenced their subsequent Super Sentai series. In 2003, TV Asahi began broadcasting the Super Sentai and Kamen Rider series in a weekly one-hour block known as Super Hero Time. Toho, the creators of Godzilla, also had their hands in creating the Chosation series of programs from 2003 to 2006. In 2006, Keita Amamiya's Garo, a mature late-night tokusatsu drama was released, starting a franchise composed of several television series and films. Other mature late-night series followed, including a revival of Lion Maru in Lion Maru G, the Daimajin Kanan television series based on the Daimajin film series, and Shugeki Goraigen, also created by Amamiya. Topic. Tokusatsu movies Various movies classified as tokusatsu actually work like generalized science fiction films. 
These include Warning from Space, Yujo Ren Dong Jing Ni Xian Waru Uchujin Tokyo Ni Arawaru, Space Men Appear in Tokyo, Invasion of the Neptune Men, Yujo Kue Su Chuan Uchu Kaisokusen, High Speed Spaceship, The Green Slime, Ganma D3 How Yujo Da Zuozan, Ganma Daisen Go, Uchu Daisakusen, Ganma 3 Space Mission, The Birth of Japan, Reben Dansheng Nippon Tanjo, the Last War, Shi Jia Da Zan Jung Sakai Daisenso, Great World War, Japan Sinks, Reben Shenma E Nihon Chinbatsu, Japan Sinks, Virus, Fuhuo no Ri Fukatsu no Hai, Day of Resurrection, Sayonara Jupiter, Sayonara Jupiter, Sayonara Jupiter, The War in Space, Huo Shing Da Zan Jung Wakuse Daisenso, War of the Planets, and Sengoku Jiatai 1549. Zanguo Zi Wei Dewey 1549. Kaiju and Tokusatsu films, notably Warning from Space 1956, sparked Stanley Kubrick's interest in science fiction films and influenced 2001, A Space Odyssey 1968. According to his biographer John Baxter, despite their clumsy model sequences, the films were often well photographed in color and their dismal dialogue was delivered in well-designed and well-lit sets. Topic. Similar productions Topic. Non-traditional tokusatsu productions Non-traditional tokusatsu films and television programs may not use conventional special effects or may not star human actors. Though suitmation typifies tokusatsu, some productions may use stop motion to animate their monsters instead, for example Majin Hunter Mitsurugi in 1973. TV shows may use traditional tokusatsu techniques, but are cast with puppets or marionettes. Uchushin Silica, 1960, Ginga Shonen Tai, 1963, Kuchu Toshi 008, 1969, and Go Nagai's X Bomber, 1980. Some tokusatsu may employ animation in addition to its live action components. Subaraya Productions Dinosaur Expedition Team Born Free, 1976, Dinosaur War Eisenborg, 1977, and Pro Wrestling Star Aztekaiser, 1976. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Japanese fan films. Hideaki Anno, Yoshiyuki Sadamoto, Takami Akai, and Shinji Higuchi set up a fan-based group called Daikon Film, which they renamed Gainax in 1985 and turned into an animation studio. Besides anime sequences, they also produced a series of tokusatsu shorts parodying monster movies and superhero shows. These productions include Swift Hero No Tenki Patriotic Squadron Dai Nippon 1983, Return of Ultraman 1983, and The Eight-Headed Giant Serpent Strikes Back 1985. Topic. Outside of Japan Tokusatsu techniques have spread outside Japan due to the popularity of the Godzilla films. Topic: <inaudible> Adaptations. Godzilla: King of the Monsters first appeared in English in 1956. Rather than a simple dub of the Japanese language original, this work represented an entirely re-edited version which restructured the plot to incorporate a new character played by a native English-speaking actor, Raymond Burr. Ultraman gained popularity when United Artists dubbed it for American audiences in the 1960s. 
In the 1990s, Chaim Sabin acquired the distribution rights for the Super Sentai series from Toei Company and combined the original Japanese action footage with new footage featuring American actors, resulting in the Power Rangers franchise which has continued since then into sequel TV series with Power Rangers Beast Morphers set to premiere in 2019 comic books, video games, and three feature films, with a further cinematic universe planned. Following from the success of Power Rangers, Sabin acquired the rights to more of Toei's library, creating VR Troopers and Big Bad Beetleborgs from several Metal Hero series shows and Masked Rider from Common Rider series footage. Dick Entertainment joined this boom by acquiring the rights to Gridman the Hyper Agent and turning it into Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. In 2002, Four Kids Entertainment bought the rights to Ultraman Tiga, but simply produced a dub of the Japanese footage, broadcast on the Fox box. And in 2009, Adnis Entertainment took 2002's Kamen Rider Ryuki and turned it into Kamen Rider, Dragon Knight, which began broadcast on the CW4 Kids in 2009. It won the first Daytime Emmy for Outstanding Stunt Coordination for its original scenes. Topic. Original productions. In 1961 England-based film makers produced the Godzilla-style film, Gorgo, which used the same suitmation technique as the Godzilla films. That same year, Saga Studios in Denmark made another Godzilla-style giant monster film, Reptilicus, bringing its monster to life using a marionette on a miniature set. In 1967, South Korea produced its own monster movie titled Yongari. In 1975, Shaw Brothers produced a superhero film called The Super Inframan, based on the huge success of Ultraman and Kamen Rider there. The film starred Danny Lee in the title role. Although there were several other similar superhero productions in Hong Kong, The Super Inframan came first. With help from Japanese special effects artists under Sadamasa Arikawa, they also produced a Japanese-styled monster movie, The Mighty Peking Man, in 1977. Concurrent with their work on Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, Dick attempted an original concept based on the popularity of Power Rangers in 1994's tattooed teenage alien fighters from Beverly Hills. In 1998, video from an attempted Power Rangers-styled adaptation of Sailor Moon surfaced, combining original footage of American actresses with original animated sequences. In the 2000s, production companies in other East Asian countries began producing their own original tokusatsu-inspired television series, Thailand's Sport Ranger and South Korea's Erection in 2006, the Philippines' Zato, Polis Pankalawakan itself a sanctioned spin-off of Toei's Space Sheriff Shader in 2007, China's Armor Hero Chinese, Kai Jia Yong Shi Pinyin, Kai Jia Yong Shi in 2009, Giant Saver Chinese, Zhu Shen Zan Ji Dui Di Pinyin, Zhu Shen Zan Ji Dui in 2013, Metal Kaiser Chinese, Wu Long Chi Jian Shi Pinyin, Wu Long Chi Jian Shi, and Indonesia's B Sima Satria Garuda which began in 2013. <laughs> <laughs> Homage and parody In 2001, Buki X1 Productions, a French fan-based production company, produced its own series, Jushi Sentai France 5 now called Shin Kenjushi France 5, a tribute to Toei's long-running Super Sentai series. The low-budget television series Kaiju Big Battle directly parodies Monster and Kyodai Hero films and series by immersing their own costumed characters in professional wrestling matches among cardboard buildings. 
In 2006, Mighty Mosh and Emo Rangers premiered on the internet as a Power Rangers spoof, but was quickly picked up by MTV UK for broadcast. In 2006, Insector Sun, a low-budget tribute to Kamen Rider was produced by Brazilian fans. <laughs> 